Hello, and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband. I'm your host, Arnold the Singer. Well, today... Well, for those of you who missed my, or skipped over, my troubleshooting mods video, you should really check that out. Uh, you know, uh, I am now uh, turning off my internet and going on Steam online so that uh, I get no more Steam updates which screw with the mods. So there's that. Uh, I've also realized something. My companions may have sold the books I gave them because my companions now sell all the loot that they get for one dinar. That's a bug that occurred with the mod that I didn't address in one of the last two videos. Hmm. Also, my towns don't make, I mean my productive enterprises don't make any money anymore. I'm kind of removing them and hopefully Eventually, I can buy new ones. Um, in the wake of this Steam update and the screwing around with my mod that has occurred because of it, I've decided to employ a more aggressive strategy than I was before. My old strategy was to build a military alliance of sorts with the Nords, which would result in all the factions going to war with both them and the Sly Kingdom. But I can't do that in the Floris mod, which is modelled after Diplomacy. I could do that in Perisno and perhaps certain other mods. But not here. So I'm going to let my... But... The purpose of this video is to explain my plan. I am the flexible strategist, and when one strategy does not work, I develop another. And here is my plan. I want to maintain peace with the Suede Saranids and the Vegas, if at all necessary. If it if at all possible. Hmm. I'm going to let the Nords degrade into a... well, my alliance with them degrade until we are no longer in an alliance. I will then... I have since made peace with the Rodox. I have a truce which will last 17 days. My current plan is to get all of my lords up to roughly 20 relation with me and start a new war with the Rodox. I have really good relations with the Kurgits. They have 34 relation with me and are at peace with me. If they choose to go to war with me, I will do that. However, they have 34 relation with me and Sanya Khan really likes me. Just putting that out there. I'm not sure what Casus Belli means. 26 days. Oh, I guess that means they won't attack me for that time period. Which means that the threat of war is a bluff. Or, hopefully. Or it will be delayed until after that 26 day period. Hmm. Interesting. 
I did have Casus Belli with the Kurgat Khanate. You know, strangely enough. Hmm. Perhaps I can build upon the Casus Belli thing. You know, not build an alliance with them per se. No, no, that costs money. I don't intend to make any long-term deals with any of them. Perhaps a trade agreement with the Vegas, but that's about it. Once I've stabilized my fortune, my plan currently, I'm going to attack the Rodox. That is my main focus. Any other faction I will defend. Let the Nords deteriorate in their alliance with me until they're down to peace or whatever. Once the Rodox have once the truce with the Rodox is degraded, I will launch another war against them and attack them again and again and again until I have defeated them. If they offer me peace, I will give them peace, but I will set harsh terms upon that peace, which will make the Rodox more likely to go to war with me. Now, King Graveth has minus eight relation with me, so he doesn't like me. <laughs> But that doesn't matter. Sanya Khan is like 60 relation with me or something, and he loves me, so he would prefer not to go to war with me. Sultan Hakim, on the other hand, well, he is... Hmm, what is Sultan Hakim exactly? Oh, I think he's like zero or something. Perhaps minus one, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, for these small factions like the Vegas and the Saranids, I might build relations with their kings so as to help avoid war with them. Do a few missions. Now, while I'm at peace with the Rodox, before I do any of what I had previously mentioned, I'm going to get my lords up to 20 relation with me. Now, I have this guy here. I might be... I can't... Azadun is only following me. He is not going to catch him because he's following me. I'm going to attack this guy, take as many prisoners as I can, and give them to Azadun. I'm then going to give Azadun, you know, once he's weakened a bit, some troops, you know. Uh, some level 2s that I upgrade from some of the surrounding villages, or perhaps I'll give them a few good troops, you know. Some troops I take from various other bandit parties. Once he's down a bit, or about to leave, I'll give him troops. And when he has a bunch of prisoners, I'll send them to Ichima or Nara, or something. So, yeah... There's that. <laughs> That's my plan. And, I mean, I can get ten relation with a lord by simply giving him some troops. You know, 30 level 2s or 10 higher ups. You know, level 5s or more generally. If they need troops, they'll go up in relation with me. It's simple as that. I don't have to force them into a bandit army. I simply need to collect the prisoners from the bandit armies and give them to my lords after we've defeated the bandit army. That's my plan. Yes. <laughs> and I do believe it is a good plan. I will continue the war with the Rodox, push them up. Once they are in the Swadian territory largely, or perhaps after I've taken, you know, yeah, when they're in the Swadian territory largely, <clears throat> I will focus upon the Nords, who will hopefully, by that point, have deteriorated in their alliance with me. Focus on them. 
I will push all the factions towards this area where they will be constantly warring with both me and each other. No more alliances. Just warfare and strategic moments of peace. Peace is important. It gives you the opportunity to build relations with your lords. That's why I want them up to 20 relation. Mostly. Now that I'm out of castles to give my lords, I will give myself all of the villages. Any lords I have in my capital of Nara, I will give them villages. I have plenty from Shares and around here. <laughs> I want to limit the number of lords I get. I don't want a whole bunch, you know, that I can't give fiefs to or whatever. I usually only give one, maybe two fiefs every time I go to my capital. Generally one, though. If I'm in need of troops, maybe I'll give out two. But I don't need troops. I have a decent sized army. Now, I don't have the most lords in all of Calradia. I'd say I'm average. But in time, as I expand, I will get more. Anyway, for your viewing entertainment, here is a bandit army. Let's attack this. Surrender or die. I've put my slaver chiefs in the front. So I'm having, going to have a lot of elephant riders up here. Or a few, anyway. Now, this is not a very big army, so I should be able to run them down with these guys. And they're infantry, so my elephant riders will just tear through them. <laughs> Maybe I should make my slaver chiefs under a different thing other than cavalry. You know, hold my cavalry in reserve, perhaps, and charge my elephant riders? Hmm. That's a good idea. <clears throat> Things are coming together very nicely. <laughs> also, I've noticed that the pole arms don't seem to be doing much damage to my horse anymore. Which is kind of nice, but you know, the, da the extra damage to the horse makes the pole arms more realistic, I think, in the way they work in real life. So, that's fine. <laughs> My slaver chiefs are tearing through them. Forty-four wounded. Well, I'll take what I can. These manhunters. I don't generally keep a huge <clears throat> force with me. I'm going to have to sell all these items now when I give them to my companions. I'm going to have to go to each one and sell them to get the maximum amount for the loot. Oh well. Let my soldiers collect the rest. No more automatically selling for my men. Oh well. It's fine. Follow me. Anyway, I'm going to give Azadun some troops once he has a bunch of prisoners. I think once I attack a, maybe a Sea Raider army, I haven't attacked one of those in a while, I think. Of course, the bandit army I haven't attacked in the longest time is the Mountain Bandits, who have probably populated quite a bit.
<clears throat> well, I hope you guys like my plan. I will show you more details, you know, once I come across bandit armies or, you know, when something of note happens. Mm. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will ever remain the flexible strategist. See you next time.